Hey guys, welcome to my new channel. I am the Mad Viking, and so I thought it's only fitting that we do a review on a Viking subject. Um, so, without further ado, we're going to be reviewing the Hanway Godfred Viking Sword. I must say, it's an absolute beauty. So, if I get it out here, I'll start here, look. I'll try and show you as much as I can as best as I can okay so as you can see it's such a stunning sword um, if I take it out of its sheath here out of its scabbard whatever you want to use if you see here the Damascus steel running down the fuller um, absolute beauty looks really good it's a really nice finish to the blade the uh, guard here is actually Damascus as well. I don't know if you can see. Then the pommel is Damascus as well. You can just about see there. The pommel is screwed on. It's got this cover here, which I think is a nice little cover. Um, yeah, balance is good. It's quite a big sword. I don't know if you can see. Quite a big sword for a one-handed sword. It's definitely a big sword. Um, but yeah, it's very lightweight. Very, very lightweight. Um, good balance. I think the center of balance is about here on the blade. So you can see it's quite far back. Um, talking a little bit about the scabbard. It is nicely fitted, although at the bottom is a bit of wiggle room. Um, you've got your brass fittings at the top here, pinned in. More brass fittings here pinned in, and again at these two. Um, you've got belt clips which are also brass, which um, definitely is a good idea for uh, mountain hunter belts that ain't already um, set up to be attached to the sword. Um, the handle is pinned around the edges here and it's a suede handle um, with a wood underlay uh, the scabbard itself is covered, wrapped in suede um, you can see here at the back where it's been stitched all the way down and then that would sit on the inside of your leg um, yeah what, what can I say it's uh, an amazing piece um, probably my most prized collected item so far. Um, I do plan on collecting more. Uh, but yeah, overall, I'm very, very happy with it. It is battle ready, which means that it's been quenched, it's been tempered, and overall, it can deal a lot of damage and withstand a lot of damage as well. Um, I've done some abusive testing on it. Um, taken apart a old divan bed that I wanted to put into a skip um, so I thought what better way than to use the sword to break it down and just see really what it's capable of um, when cutting through the fabric of the bed it literally cut through it like butter it was really really sharp um, considering the edge itself isn't razor sharp I was surprised at how well it cut through um, when it came to the wood it was absolutely on point um, doing a pretty strong swing, it would just break through the wood, cut through it like butter. Um, it was nothing. Um, it didn't deal any damage to the sword either. There's uh, a couple of blemishes where it hit against um, like little nails, but you know, back in that period, swords wasn't used against other swords as much as they are in movies today. That's really just a gimmick to kind of make things more cinematic um, yeah it'd really be just used against shields and armor that kind of thing uh, but yeah very very happy with it um, not bad for the price I think uh, it's about 500 pound that I paid but I did see it afterwards on another site which was about 370 um, so I would definitely look around because it's definitely worth looking around that's a mistake that I made um, yeah, overall I'm very happy with it. There's not really much else I can say, so hopefully I'll see you again soon. Please like, 
subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Cordon Tag.